Welcome to another video. Take a wild guess where I am. And today, I have Dino with me. We're at Cross Point, and I got two vehicles for sure. That's what we're picking up. But I want to take a look at the other two vehicles I got on offer because they will most likely counter, and if they do, I want to have a better decision. Do I want to go up in price or whatever? So that's what we're doing right now, trying to find the two vehicles I got on offer. Auction ended maybe two, three hours ago. Ran a few errands and we are here right away. Oh, so the truck, this is one of the trucks I got. And it was parked like this, essentially. That's why I didn't test drive it before. Um, but this is a 05 Silverado, rear wheel drive. Miles are actually pretty solid, 100,000. Nothing fancy, no leather or whatnot. But it had an aftermarket stereo and it sounded good. As an exhaust, I hear just a little bit of squeaking. Key fob one battery low, okay, remember that. Yeah, that was pretty much it. Very simple truck. WS46, I don't know what that means. Check washer fluid. But this is essentially what I did in the morning before the auction. Put it in gear, I didn't hear or feel any kicks. But I mean, I could move the car behind me, but I don't have time for that. Okay, well, that kind of changes the plans a little bit. The other one is a Mercury. Oh, someone's ripping it on a dirt bike up there. And Mercury, I think, was lane E. So I need to find the Mercury. There are a lot of perks being tall. Finding cars way, way, like, out of sight is one of those perks. I do believe I see it. This is the one. So this is basically a Ford Escape. This one's a hybrid. And if I remember correctly, this one has a rebuilt title. Or maybe not. Stinks in here. No, I just heard almost like a exhaust leak when I first started it. Man, the way that they park cars in here, it's like, bro, good luck getting them out. Like, honestly, I don't know if I'll be able to pull this thing out. Do you think I'll be able to do it? I can do it, but do you want to? Well, if I'm gonna buy it, and imagine like transmission doesn't work the way it should work. I'd rather inspect it. it has parking sensors. Can I hold that. Okay, I made it. That was like a three point turn four times. And uh, it's a hybrid. So with fuel prices being as crazy as they are, it makes sense to buy up diesels, hybrids, very fuel economical vehicles until this nightmare is over. Yeah, that tapping is not a big issue. That tapping doesn't scare me. So I went down the test track twice now. I don't feel it switching gears when I think it should switch gears. Now I don't remember the year of this car and I, it, it feels like a CVT transmission where it just kind of expands and you gain speed. We are gaining speed, but I don't know. If it's not a CVT transmission, then to me, it seems like it has a transmission issue. So look, there we have a 2000, 
two and a half thousand, three thousand RPM, and it's still not switching, and we're doing 35 miles per hour. It's still gaining speed, but it's not switching, so why? Okay, so I think this one I'll need to do some research. If it is a CVT transmission, I don't like them, but it's not a big deal. If it's not a CVT transmission, then I, I don't want this car. But this is a nice example. I had one of these, it just wasn't a hybrid. Uh, same exterior color, same interior color. Like it has navigation, parking sensors, heated seats. So it's a, it's a nice one, leather interior, moonroof and whatnot. But if it has transmission issues, then clearly no good. Okay, so we took a look at two, well one, and then the other one didn't really work out. So. Let's actually go pick up the cars that did buy. So the first one is going to be another minivan. I have definitely been uh, <laughs> buying up a whole bunch of minivans lately, but there's very good reason for that because I sell them. I actually sold a minivan today, right before coming out here. Um, they do well. And this one is nothing fancy, but it's cheap and it's a rebuilt title. Uh, I think it's a 2011 with 157,000 miles. It has a check engine light on, it has a rebuilt title and with fees and everything, I think I paid 25 or 2,600 bucks for this thing. Was it a good buy? We're gonna find out very soon. Okay, let's see if it'll start on its own. Beautiful. There's our check engine light. So this one is not bad. I mean, it, like it doesn't have a leather interior, but it looks like our backup camera doesn't work. Oil change due. We will of course check that our screen just turned off. So maybe we have an issue with the screen. I don't know, to be honest. Oh, it looks like we have a cracked windshield. So I'll have to put some money into it, but we definitely have TV screens. We have a moon roof, which is somewhat rare on these vans the last few i had actually i don't remember the last time i had a minivan with a moonroof but exterior color is pretty nice and as long as it makes it to the lot with no major issues we will be okay dina declined my ride offer so she's actually just walking across one aisle to the q7 i purchased another diesel q7 I have one, it is actually getting serviced at Audi right now because it's under warranty, extended warranty for the DPF stuff, uh, all the diesel related stuff. So that should be done actually this week. And hopefully if this one has no issues, I will have two Q7 diesels. And this one is like black with a hint of purple or a hint of blue, I can't really tell yet. So, any warning lights? Nope, looks good. Just says service due. So this is the one you're taking out. Um, need to fill those out. And I'll grab them with me and just hand the security guy. But we'll get out of this darker area and show you both Can you close that in better up? light. So I'll just do a really quick kind of walk around for you guys now that it's in more light. So we're gonna hit traffic, so we're kind of trying to rush along if that makes sense, but another Q7 with the nice facelift. Those are, you know, orange when it turns and flashes. It sounds healthy. Dina's taking that one, so I don't know how well it's gonna drive. Um, and I'm taking the minivan, and the minivan is another filthy one because it's a minivan. Big surprise, right? Families own them. Here's probably trying to say there's like hella kids in there. I don't believe it, but not right now. But just quickly to show you guys, like all of this, I mean, it's pretty filthy. Curious if, we, yeah, we do have seats back there. Um, and it has power sliding doors. So honestly, it seems like this is well-optioned minivan. We have power trunk, power sliding doors. 
Uh, we just don't have a leather interior, which I'm assuming someone just wanted it to be this way. But we have the two DVD screens in the back. We have power sliding doors. Peace out, be safe. So now we could head out in this thing. And I am heading out to the lot. Unfortunately, as always, uh, there's a whole bunch of cars, but usually when it's a red light, people will let me through. Like this gentleman right here. Because at this hour, if no one lets you through, look at all that. They just keep coming and coming and coming. Wish me mental luck. Uh, we do have a check engine light on, but it seems like it's running totally okay. I'm doing nearly 40 miles per hour with no uh, like major noticeable issues or actually any issues for that matter. Uh, but once we get to the lot, I will check the engine codes and see what we have. A little longer than a few minutes later. The van made it to the lot. Absolutely no issues. I didn't notice anything uh, that like really stands out. If it didn't have that check engine light on, I would honestly try to take it through uh, DEQ right now and see if it passes. Oh, nope, I forgot. You gotta give these a little pull and then they open up. But like I said, surprisingly when I was bidding on it, I thought this was a totally uh, base van with like no options. But to my surprise, it has the power trunk, it has the power sliding doors, it even has heated mirrors. But with all of these great things, it is extremely filthy, uh, like super, super, super filthy. So clearly it's not ready to go yet. Um, I do wanna pull the codes, I will do that right now. And more or less get a game plan going for this thing. This is not a napkin, but oil seems to be decently fresh. Um, so I probably won't do an oil change on that, but let's see what we have. We have two codes according to the scanner. Read. Stored codes. Coolant thermostat, temperature below, thermostat regulating temperature, and oxygen sensor slow to response, bank two, sensor one. Uh, okay. These two codes are not super serious. The minivan did not overheat. It was actually totally fine. But if it has a very minor leak enough to trigger the check engine light, that's totally fine. Don't remember if I've done one on uh, this minivan or not, but we'll see. Either I'll do it myself or I'll take it to my mechanic. But my job right now is to get those parts ordered and then slowly start putting it together. Uh, now the other question is, how's the Q7 doing? Last time I spoke to Dina, she said she loves it. It runs totally fine. But I guess we could be done with the van for now um, because she's taking the Q7 home. And let's take a look at the Q7. A little longer than a few minutes later. So this is how it goes. I told you guys that the Q7 is at the house. It is not. Say hi. Hi. Uh, had a phone call, plans changed, Q7 is here. <laughs> Wife says that it runs great with no issues, but we are about to take hi. it out. You want to say hi too? Everyone hi. wants to say hi. Do you want to say hi too? Hi. You're the crab. Oh no, Chloe's the crab. But honestly, I would say very happy with it. Tires look to be in decent shape. Oh, she did lock it. But the window's cracked open, no? Okay, maybe not. Maybe I'm trying. Let's see. Yeah, I have another one, like I told you guys. I kind of like this one more because of the black interior. The other one has like a light cream interior. This one has heated back seats. I don't know if the other one has heated back seats. But of course, we have a third row for the Q7s. And it's a diesel. Honestly, you just cannot go wrong with the diesel. On a full tank of uh, fuel, you'll probably get 450-ish miles. Um, and that's a really, I guess, maybe bad estimate because the other one, it filled it up. It says like 500 miles, but of course, city driving, I don't think you really will get 500 miles out of it. But what I'm trying to say is it's very, very fuel economical and it's a bigger SUV. Where it will fit seven people, 
the seven not very comfortable i mean five adults comfortably and then uh two kids in the back in the third row and by the looks of it the interior won't even need a crazy detail so again i'm going to drive it more or less for the first time right now and see how well it drives see if it's you know filthy and whatnot if i hear anything if i feel anything i guess we'll see a little longer than a few minutes later well i spent some time in the q7 uh i'm actually back at the auction i had to pick up another one one of mine this jeep i tried to sell it it didn't work out um but this thing runs really really well mechanically i can't say there's any issues the only thing I noticed is the brakes squeak, uh, especially lower speeds and there's a whole bunch of traffic. So, uh, I mean, these pads seem fine. And these seem fine. So the fact that they squeak is kind of, I mean, maybe cheaper material. So, yeah, I mean, they're at least at 50%, so I don't think I'll be replacing them unless I just want to get rid of the squeakiness, but we'll see. Aside from that, the thing runs really, really well. I mean, it purrs. I'm very happy with the purchase. Um, I'll need to do an oil change on it and then essentially just clean it up a little bit and in theory, it's good to go. Minivan, well, you guys saw the minivan and I told you guys what I need to do with it. If you guys wanna see that video, then of course I'll you know record a video and post it. If not, then thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you guys think of the minivan purchase and purchases because I have been buying up a lot of them lately. What do you guys think of the Q7, the diesel uh, Audi Volkswagen products? As always, really appreciate your support. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in another video.